If anyone asks what we're doing, it's science, okay? It's not an excuse for us to drive 140 kilometers per hour with the truck on a test track. Today we came to Sorocaba. In the interior of Sao Paulo, we borrowed Toyota's track to show you a phenomenon that happens with sound at high speed, the Doppler effect. Ibre, why does the ambulance arrive making a high-pitched sound and when it passes, the sound becomes low? That's true, the ambulance arrives with a shrill sound, something like this. Wee-oo! When you make the noise of a car passing, you make wee-oo. Why, when the car arrives, the sound is shrill and it leaves with a deeper sound? Stay until the end, because today we are going to take this experience to the extreme, but first we have to understand what sound is exactly. It is a vibration that we can feel with our ears. So when I hit this table, the table vibrates, the table shakes, it makes the air shake too, and this shaking air reaches my ears, it makes my eardrum shake. But how does this vibration manage to travel through the air? We have to remember that the air is made up of a bunch of molecules that are scattered here, molecules of nitrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide. These tightly packed molecules travel to our ear, and when they reach the eardrum, they give a little squeeze too. It's hard to imagine, but let's use a spring as an analogy. Imagine each turn of the spring as an air molecule. And here in my right hand is the speaker. The moment the speaker pushes, it makes this compressed part move. Just look. And the craziest thing, right? The spring itself doesn't move. It's just the compressed part that moves. But there's a detail. The speaker, it doesn't just give a little push. It vibrates, it keeps going back and forth. That's what a vibration is. It's not just once that this compressed part reaches our ears, it arrives several times per second. So if we could take a picture of the sound, what we would see is something like this, okay? These little balls, these dots are the air molecules. There's a moment when they're gonna be closer together. It's the part that was compressed. It's like in the spring, that part that's tighter there and they're gonna move. They're gonna come out of the object that's making the sound from a speaker, from the loudspeaker, for example, like a bubble that's getting further and further away. Each shell of the bubble is this, see? And this is what we call a sound wave. It's as if each of these little strips were those ripples that form the moment you throw a stone in the water. When we hear a sound, then, it's these waves that are reaching our ear, and then there's a detail. The more waves that arrive, in other words, the faster the vibration, the sharper the sound will be. Look how cool that is. In this app, I can simulate a 500 hertz sound. What does 500 hertz mean? 500 waves arrive every second. Listen to their sound. I'll now double it to 1000 hertz, meaning 1000 waves arriving per second. Do you want to hear 2000 hertz? It's good here, right? Already understood. And now, since we've understood all of this, we can figure out why a car makes a higher pitched sound when it arrives than when it leaves. When an ambulance is stationary, it emits sound. The sound travels through the air as if it were a soap coming out of the ambulance in the way I've drawn here. The sound of an ambulance changes as it moves in your direction. Imagine the shifting story as it approaches. It's emitting these sound waves, but at the same time, it's getting closer to you. Do you know what happens? These waves, they get closer to each other. What waves get closer to each other? It means more waves per second reaching your ear. It means a higher pitched sound. And the coolest thing is that when the ambulance passes, the opposite effect occurs. It's emitting sound, but it's getting farther and farther away from you. It's as if the sound waves are trying to reach you, but they're at a slower speed. Fewer waves arrive. And then the sound gets deeper. You can kind of see what I'm talking about if you imagine a duck walking on the lake. It's causing those little ripples very similar to sound waves. In front of the duck, the waves are very compressed and behind the duck, they become looser. They get further apart from each other. So if that were sound, in front of the duck, it would be higher pitched. Behind the duck, it would be lower pitched. And the cool thing for our radical real life test is that the faster the car is, the higher the sound will be and the lower it will be after it passes.
So this difference as the speed increases becomes gigantic. What would it be like above 100 kilometers per hour, for example? Wait a minute, before we go to the test track, let me teach you a way to do this experiment at home. You will only need three things, a Bluetooth speaker, a cell phone, and a very sturdy cloth bag. On the cell phone, you can put a song. I'm gonna to try to do something a little cleaner so it's easier to hear. I'm using a tone generator, it's called Tone Generator. You can download it, Tone Generator, in your app store. I will play a frequency of 440 hertz. It's the A note, just look. The cell phone is already connected to the speaker, okay? What I'm going to do then is simply spin the speaker above my head. You will hear the sound approaching and receding repeatedly, like an ambulance passing by. We will essentially simulate an ambulance driving past. I turned off my microphone. Now the microphone that's working is there on the cell phone that's recording, and I'm going to turn it up to the max. Will it matter? Should we go? Oh, you can already notice a fluctuation. I'm going to increase this speed. I changed the tone here. Yes, it's easy to do, but use a strong bag because I don't want comments saying that the speaker flew into someone's head, okay? Let's go to the test track. So we headed to Sorocaba, which is not only the city where I was born, but also where we filmed the let's see of the car, showing how the Toyota Corolla Cross is made. This time they lent us the test track, where we can drive up to 140 kilometers per hour. And they also provide the two cars where we will set up our equipment. We set up a rough scheme here. First thing, we have this speaker that is turned to the side to make noise for those who are stopped on the shoulder. We connected a cell phone with three MP3 sounds. The detail is that this box consumes a lot of energy. So on top of the pickup truck, there is also a gasoline generator. Let's turn on the box to see if everything is working. It's working. It's the high-pitched sound that's not going through. Can you hear this sound loudly? Can you hear this loudly? No, it's very low, but I can hear it. I'm not that old. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Well, then we don't have three sounds anymore. We only have two because one can't be heard properly. But we brought something a little stronger than all of this. It's an industrial siren, which for a change I bought at an auction. I don't know where it came from, but its sound is very, very loud. On Manuel de Mundo, we turned it on indoors, but had to switch it off right away as it was unbearable to remain in the room. I'm unsure how this sounds after running for some time. Let's test it out. Is it strong? It's strong. Just reminding you that in this first semester, we are launching two books, the big book of biology, which is part of our collection that has the big book of science, mathematics, history, chemistry, and the mysteries of the universe, which is a beautiful astronomy book for those who want to take the first steps in this knowledge of space, okay? For more information on pricing and details, check the link below. If you want my autograph in the books from one of the releases, I've listed the cities we'll be visiting in the first semester on the side. The first test we have to do here is to see if the car reaches its maximum speed in front of where I'm going to stop. So as we are on a test track, we can go much faster than on a normal track. Here the maximum speed is 140 kilometers per hour. And let's see if it reaches 140 there, 100. 120. 140 will be good. I have a recorder with a directional microphone. This plush is used to reduce wind noise. Danny will go first at 80 kilometers per hour with the siren on to see if we can already notice the effect. Let's wait for Danny to stop here so we can plan our approach. We can't keep the siren on too long. The Toyota factory is nearby, so keeping the siren on will make people think an ambulance is passing and worry them. First time, 80 kilometers with that long siren. It goes 80, 110, 140 to stay in the middle there. Start at 18 miles H and accelerate to reach 87 miles H by the beginning of the track. The track is about a kilometer long and we're just past the midpoint. I think we'll hear it from here when he starts it up at the beginning. 
Let's see. At 110 kilometers per hour now. I'm considering this wee-oo, thing. It's a very big variation in tone and you can't really notice it right when the car passes. Let's see now, 140 kilometers per hour if it makes any difference and then the other sounds. Because this one, to me, isn't very interesting. We came all the way here for this. The car passed so quickly that I couldn't hear the siren properly. Either our speaker is weak or this doesn't help much. Switch to the yo 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 siren. The idea is that when the car approaches, the siren gets high pitched and when it passes, it gets low pitched. The problem is that the sound naturally varies in tone, getting high pitched and low pitched even without the car passing, causing confusion. Let's now listen to a different siren, one used when emergency vehicles are in tight spaces or jammed traffic. Not only did the tone change, it came like this. As it changes speed, the spacing between one note and another. The sound of the car wheel, it influences a lot. You can't hear the siren very well when the car is near. So now the editor will put the comparison of the sound coming and the sound going away for you to see one thing glued to the other, how it is very different. Let's activate the siren. It's terrible the first few times with the long siren. You can't hear it because the long siren goes Then that's what confuses with the noise, with the difference in the sound that you have to hear. The second time with the short siren was much better. I understand, but the car tire noise is still very loud. I believe the sound system is weak compared to the tire noise. Now let's test with the siren. I think the siren is, it's intense. I fear this will disrupt the factory due to the very loud siren. The sound can be heard from a distance when it's turned on at the start of the track. It remains low throughout, not becoming super loud as it passes by quickly. Wait for me to turn on the generator! Oops, the generator doesn't want to turn on. It has gasoline. It must have flooded, just to prove that it's not me who's stuck. It's not possible just to humiliate me in the video. You see? Little test, little test. Okay, okay, okay. I think things are going to get more interesting now. I bought this siren at the auction because I didn't even know what I was going to do. The idea was to reverse engineer it, disassemble the siren, and make another 3D printer that could be activated with a drill, for example. We didn't do it because it's hard and requires precision, but it'll do for now. After all, who doesn't want a siren at home? Perfect. The Doppler effect is approved at the limit of 140 kilometers per hour. If this isn't worth a thumbs up, I don't know what is. Saved by the auction siren. As the car speeds up back and forth, the sound gets sharper the faster the car goes. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, we'll have to clean up the sound, digitally process it, but I think you can feel uh, an acceleration, a ramp, it gets sharper and sharper until it passes by us and becomes deep again. Stop here, I'll leave in another car. We were standing still when the car arrived, which is the experiment's idea. The same effect should happen if the sound is coming from a stationary place and we arrive with the car. So that means 
If an ambulance is with the siren stopped, stopped in place and a car passes by quickly, the effect should be the same, theoretically. Shall we see? When I go over there, you turn it on and then I come and... Oh, the idea is... You aim this directional microphone at the car like a laser. It's important to be well aimed, but you also measure midway. Consider adjusting the distance slightly to account for wind noise, which the plush protects against, but not completely. Shall we go? The siren burned out. Wow, smell that burning. This is scorching hot. We lost a siren. Maybe I'll reverse engineer it to make one at home. But most importantly, Doppler effect proven in practice at 87 miles per hour on a test track. It's not every day you see a video like this. If you like this kind of video, please subscribe to Manuel Dumundo. We work hard to bring this to you. Deal? If you're studying sound or you want to see another interesting curiosity about it, once we measured the speed of sound using a bomb, it's an experiment somewhat similar to this one. It's worth taking a look.